two men arrested and jailed for allegedly disrupting a Wilmington City Council meeting are now suing the city. Their charges were dismissed. In their lawsuit, Tony Thomas and Daryl Petrie say the city violated their rights. I-team reporter Craig Cheatham shows what happened and why the men feel entitled to damages. All right, Tony. Don't put your hands on your back for me. Tony what? Thomas. It scared me. And Daryl Petrie. I'm going to jail too. Huh? Were arrested Would you like to take him home with and jailed in April after Wilmington City officials claimed they committed the crime of disrupting a public meeting. You know, I'm 52 years old, you know, exercising my rights, and I get arrested for it. And that's scary. During this meeting in April, Thomas criticized city spending on a cleaning product and claimed then Mayor John Stanforth owed, quote, $1,500 in school taxes. And do not attack. Then City Council President Mark McKay asked Thomas if he wanted to be removed. Thomas said yes. Right after that, police arrested Thomas. Then Police Chief Ron Fithen issued this warning. If we want to continue this pattern, we will take you to jail each and every time. Minutes later, Petrie claimed the mayor had aided in the whitewashing of two murders. You're attacking the mayor. Well, what's been done is unacceptable. I'll ask you to stop that. What's been done is All right, you're done. After that, police arrested Petrie. Both men were taken to jail. The city dismissed the charges in July. Former Mayor Stanworth, Chief Fithen, and McKay all declined to comment. What they did was wrong, and you know, I, I think they should pay. They should pay and be held accountable. Thomas and Petrie are suing the city of Wilmington, Chief Fithen, and McKay. According to the lawsuit, the defendants violated Petrie and Thomas's rights, maliciously prosecuted them, and threatened further protected speech. It would have been one thing to just silence them, chill their speech, and remove them from the building and humiliate them. It's another thing to maliciously prosecute them the way that they did. Before the council meeting in April, Petrie and Thomas had publicly criticized city officials over different issues in emails, social media, and public meetings reviewed by the I-team. But according to their lawsuit, Thomas and Petrie weren't arrested until the meeting in April, which was two weeks before an election. It was an election the mayor lost. McKay resigned as council president in June. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9 News.